The eyes to the right, 382. The nose to the left, 128. The bill's approval clears the way for a revolution in reproductive medicine. Thank you. It's good news for families like the holidays. A mutation in mother Vicky's mitochondria has left their daughter Jessica with a life-threatening condition. So as you can see, she's very floppy. Yeah. She, she can't really hold her own head up. She doesn't have the energy to do that. So effectively, her brain is dying. And, um, and it's a matter of time before that affects the brain stem. Mitochondria are tiny energy-generating structures found outside the nucleus of cells. When they're faulty, incurable conditions can arise which are passed down the maternal line. But scientists in Britain have found a way to transfer the nucleus of an egg with defective mitochondria into an egg from a healthy donor. The resulting fertilised egg contains the parent's nuclear material along with the healthy mitochondria from the donor. When somebody's anemic, you may replace their red cells because they can't function properly. Essentially, with mitochondrial transfer, you're replacing mitochondria from a healthy person in the same way. It's a transfusion, effectively, which will then allow them to use energy wisely. But the only difference, of course, is that this is then passed on to the next generation. Those in favour say the technique does not change the baby's genetic makeup. But this isn't genetic modification. We're not altering the nucleus. We're not altering those 50% of genes that come from each parent. It's 0.054% of the genome. Opponents say it crosses a fundamental moral line. Altering the genes of a child, creating a new child, essentially opening the way to determining the type of person who is born is a very difficult ethical boundary to cross. The vote has come too late for Jessica Holiday, but it will give her parents the chance to have a second child free of her condition.